from Unshakable Spirit, Stories of Compassion and Wisdom. And today's story is number 24. Doctor, give me a dose of poison. Once the 18th century physician, Goto Konzan, was visited in the middle of the night by a young woman who had recently married into a merchant's family. Doctor, she said distractedly, help me for pity's sake. I have to have a dose of poison. The doctor sensed that something was very wrong. What for, he asked. I want my mother-in-law to die. The animosity between the two women was well known. Konzan gauged the situation and decided that if he refused her request, the desperate young woman might well take her own life. I see, he said, very well. In a short time, he handed her 30 packets of medicine with this calm explanation. If you poison her all at once, people would know right away. You would be crucified and I would be beheaded. So here's what I want you to do. Give her one packet a night for 30 nights. I have adjusted the dosage so that on the 30th night, she will drop dead. The young woman thanked him with relief. As she started to leave, he added a word of advice. You have only 30 more days to endure. During that time, I suggest you feed your mother-in-law for her favorite foods speak to her kindly, and massage her arms and legs. From the following night on, the young woman did as Kunzan had recommended. On the 30th night, she massaged her mother-in-law as usual. Afterwards, the old woman sat up, placed her hands on the floor, and bowed her head low. My dear, she said, I owe you an apology. I have been hard on you until now because I wanted you to learn the ways of our household quickly. This past month, you have been a different person. You have learned to show genuine consideration. I have nothing left to teach you. Starting tomorrow, I will step down and leave the household in your capable hands. The young woman realized her mistake and rushed to Konzan's house full of penitence. Doctor, she implored tearfully on her knees, help me for pity's sake. I have to have an antidote to the poison. Please make some right away. Don't worry, said Konzan with a chuckle. What I gave you was harmless, just buckwheat flour. Yeah, this is uh, kind of funny and uh, <laughs> at the same time inspiring story. Um, and I'm sure it's based on something that happened a long time ago. Um, yeah, and you know, there are several points we can learn from this story. One thing is, uh, even though the young woman uh, had a very unwholesome thought to harm her mother-in-law, uh, but she also had something very good in her. When she went to consult with the physician and she received the uh, advice, you know, from today on, feed your mother-in-law her favorite foods, speak to her kindly, massage her arms and legs. She did exactly as the physician had recommended. This is a quality. It's a wholesome karma uh, when someone who has expertise recommends something and without adding our two cents, we follow it, put it into practice. This is not something you know most people can do because the mind is so busy. They always add their own two cents and they're like, oh, but I don't like her, but I don't want to do this, but that's not pleasant to me. So this was something very... Um, sincere in this young woman so it, so that's why in buddhism we don't label like someone completely evil because everybody has both sides and different aspects of mind come out depending on the suffering we have or the joy we experience so that's one thing to sincerely listen and 
uh, internalize the message and put it into practice, which is what we do with the Dharma, uh, with Buddhism, with the teachings. And then another lesson we can learn is that a lot of times our conflicts at work or at home is caused by our uh, actions. We are unaware of it because usually each one of us, we uh, label ourselves as a good person. We are quick to judge, oh, they are bad. They are, they don't, they're not getting it right. If only he or she did that, I would be so happy. So because we judge things one-sided, to our favor. So that's why we suffer so much. And uh, yeah, so the, the teachings in Buddhism is we practice kindness, even if we can do it to someone that we dislike. This is difficult, but if you listen to the Dharma more and more, we see its value and how powerful it is. When we practice kindness, especially to people who are not necessarily kind to us, Something begins to shift magically, mysteriously. And that's exactly what we saw in the story. Because that's very difficult to do, because we are all made of blind passions, which is we have desire for respect and validation. So if we don't get that, we're like, forget about this person. I'm not going to lift a finger for them. This attitude creates a lot of suffering. So if we can go opposite of it, we experience a lot of happiness. And until we get to that point, obviously, we need to listen to the Dharma so we can understand the cause and effect more deeply. So good job, everyone, for being here. Um, yeah, I celebrate your ties with the Dharma and uh, understanding the law of cause and effect. That's why we gather here. So today is Sunday and have a wonderful uh, Sunday. Okay, bye.